friends, welcome to another weekly energy video. This one is for the week of June 19th through the 25th. My cats join me. Say hello, pork chop. Hello. He has just had his lunch, so he's feeling pretty good. Um, the last couple weeks could have been a little rough. We talked a lot about the theme of acceptance and like shifting paradigms, maybe some discomfort. But hopefully, if you've been doing the work and releasing things that no longer um, need to, for lack of a better word, control your life or um, affect you as deeply, I know it's been a period of many deep feelings, this week we could maybe start to experience some more balanced feelings. And that's really good. Let's get into our reading. To get through this week, something to remember is that generosity does not equal commitment. Although this is a period of expressing kindness, right? We talked about growth through exercising your big heart. And this week we enter cancer season. So it is about dropping into your feelings. We're like in the heart space. A theme of that could be dropping into your feelings, like I said, and um, opening to the source flow. Um, you could think of that as like creating a container for yourself. Here we go, work through your fears. It's the end of this, that's why it's showing up first, but that's showed up the last two weeks, do you remember? What do you need to release? This actually showed up again. This has been, this is like a soap opera. June's like a soap opera of tarot, if you've been following along. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is asking to be released? There's something within you. Now I'm sort of getting it the vibe of like something wants to be transcended as in released, as in like not put it away, but make it become free. Release it. Full Moon Gemini, the answers you need are coming. So, right. The end of Gemini season, actually, right? And the new moon in Cancer coming. We're actually going to have a Gemini weekend this weekend, June 25, 26. So, develop your inner muse. Allow yourself to go where curiosity takes you and find some inspiration to get through this week. That is an awesome message. Trust that the answers you need are coming. King of Swords. No one knows better or more than the King of Swords. Kings require no validation. They understand the truth. They're also very logic-brained. So this is about you said, I said the word container earlier, but this does feel like compartmentalizing things in your life in a way that they can start to make sense. And then you can start to work with the energy. <clears throat> the world card showed up last week as the end, at the very end of our reading. Now it's here in the front and center. The main theme is about finally transcending something. You know, this whole month is about uh, gentle movement, gentle change, reminding us that change can be gentle. It's not always um, by way of the sword. You understand the concept of the way of the sword versus the way of the stream? We are going the way of the stream, allowing life to take us where it will carry us, knowing and staying with our authentic truth, right? Not, um, like, being open to working with others and other ideas and new ideas while maintaining your own independence. This could be about developing your talent or creativity in some way. I do see collaboration. I see definitely inspired action. 
Um, this is about doing things way in a more in a way that's more heart forward, heart centered, letting feelings guide your way. That is how you're creating structure in your life. So everything that doesn't make sense to you, something that feels contradictory to what you believe and how you feel that should be true is, is falling away. That's what's falling apart, the tower. There may be a little bit of resistance to what is falling away. That's fine because that's just the nature of things. There's a reminder here to keep practicing um, the kind of transparent, um, the transparency you've been practicing with yourself over the last few weeks in terms of like, this is how I really feel about something. This is true. This is what I really want in life. This is true instead of second-guessing. And sensitivity is a thing with cancer. So, depending on your experience, you know, you may want to be extra gentle with yourself while things that no longer work are being washed away with this water, this stream. We end with judgment Judgment card is about self-awareness, right? Understanding, yes, this is how I feel, this is what I think, this is who I am, this is who I am becoming. And even if we don't quite yet have that level of self-awareness, or even if we have self-awareness, but um, a lack of understanding of self, this crossroads card will ask you to consider a way forward. So in a way it's another choice card. It's like asking, are you going to fully step into this new paradigm? Are you going to? I feel like you have the answers. Well, it does say the answers you need are coming. This is about stepping into a more spiritual way of collaborating with the universe, collaborating in the sense of um, your connection to source and how you use your energy in a way that creates the kind of change you want to see in your life. This practice of acceptance over the last few weeks has been all about releasing what that needs to look like and having compassion for yourself while you let go of things that you may have previously been attached to. An outcome, a person, a situation. Because if you are going this way of like ultimate truth and acceptance of who you are, everything that is not aligned with you will fall away. And so there may be something you know or don't know about a situation that is coming in the form of protection. Traditionally, the judgment card has an angel at the top that's playing the trumpet. In this case, it looks like, I don't know, like one of those monkeys from uh, The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard, right? Yeah, you see that? This is about the, the, the having the freedom of choice, but in the sense of um, the expression of our creativity. The Queen of Wands is all about expression. She nurtures the element of fire. The wands are fire. This is about having self-confidence, um, nurturing desire, believing in your dreams. So, do you believe in yourself? Do you believe in yourself? You might be looking at sort of like where you are now. You know, the Crossroads card, this is about like looking and the world. Both of these cards sort of s stimulate the energy of I'm here now. Let's look at where I came from and where I'm going. From this present moment, you can maybe glean those things. 
what do you have to work with right now that's um, helping you organize or structure a new way of moving forward that is more feeling versus doing for the sake of doing. You might get some help. I see, I see the collaboration card. Sometimes, you know, that could tell me that uh, maybe getting some feedback is important. We don't always see ourselves the way that we see and know ourselves. Other people know us as different people than who we are to ourselves. So maybe this is about bridging that gap a bit or finding another way to express yourself in a way that other people can see you more clearly and not being afraid to show that part of yourself. Um, I think I said this already, but part of cancer season and the intention is the way I see it, especially the energy this week, is about creating this safe container. Look at that. These two cards are for sure Actually, this whole sentence is sort of echoing this for me. Let's see here. Yep. That looks good. Create a container where you can have freedom to express your creativity. That could be through collaboration. This is the building, right? The collaboration and then this is the independence be open to working with others but maintain your independence in what you're creating so this is this is not about closing yourself off from outer influence but rather working with that energy to discover more of who you are but the king he doesn't really make compromises you know that's his truth he's sticking to it Highly intellectual, highly intellectual. So, and then this is the final card of the swords. So I love that it's showing up here at the end of Gemini season. We're dipping into cancer. The answers are you need are coming. Let's get just a few more cards. I wanna know more about, oh. Okay. It's sort of saying here, allow things to fall apart. Okay. It's the way of the stream. I don't know if this is going to be true for everybody. But it's like this, this, whatever this tower moment is, there could be a sudden change or a realization. It's kind of this this could be a potential setback but not really i feel like if something is leaving your life right now it's at the right time and for the reason that it wants you to see something that you otherwise wouldn't normally notice so what have you been potentially like this willfully ignoring or willfully not seeing by doing once you stop doing for the sake of doing is when you open yourself up to source, you, you know, do some meditation, become enlightened, you know, do the Buddha, just sort of sitting still. Sit still because the Eight of Wands is some, that's when something comes in very quickly. And I feel like this could be information to help you with this crossroads card of, of a choice or some self-awareness about where your power actually is, where your creativity actually lies. Where is that fire energy that's within you that is wanting to be expressed, to be released? I feel like this is really good for creative people this week, good for artists. One more card. The Knight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is really fast moving energy, but it's in the air. This is our intellect. These are our ideas. So this if this is 3D, if we're following the theme of the June 3D to 5D paradigms, I think this week, again, just for some of you, you might finally realize the potential, the power, the potential power of your thoughts to create change 
or to work with change. That's the ticket. The power of your thoughts, of intentional thought, and movement through feeling. What do you think? Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.